Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to download and install DaVinci Resolve 16 onto your Windows 10 computer. Let's open up the web browser, we type in DaVinci Resolve, I'll put a link to this page, uh, web page here in the YouTube description so you can get direct access to this link. We'll click on it, we can see version 16 is running. So this software is basically good for video editing, you can do a lot of interesting stuff with this software. Um, I've done, I've already installed uh, version 15 and I've also made some tutorials on YouTube. If we scroll right down to the bottom, I'll leave you to read through this information. But as we get closer to the bottom, you see version 15 here, that's the current stable version. I'm gonna download beta version 16. Let's go ahead and click on the download button. It's gonna ask me what's the operating system. So select Mac OS or Linux if that's what you're using. I'm gonna click on Windows. When I click on Windows, it's gonna ask me to fill out this form. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this form here. And um, let's see. Tell us how you're going to be using Blackmagic products. So this, uh, let's make a YouTube videos. And which features would you like us to add? I'm going to leave that blank for now. And just click register and download. So here's going to give me the zip file. It's already started to download. And it's 1.5 gig in file size. So it's quite a large file size. So while this is downloaded, I'm going to pause the video and it will come back and check it once it's downloaded and we'll finish the installation. Okay, so the software is fully downloaded in this zip file. So let's go ahead and open up this folder on my desktop and we'll drag and drop the zip file into here. It's quite a large file, 1.5 gig. And we just want to right click and uh, we want to extract this here. So let's extract the zip file. We can close down the browser. And now uh, we don't really need the zip file anymore. So we can go ahead and delete that. And then we'll open up this folder and inside we'll see the executable. Let's double click that and we can start the installation process. Okay, in order to install DaVinci Resolve, we must install these components. So as default, um, DaVinci Resolve is gonna tick off the ones that we must install. So let's click install here. Okay, so we simply click the next button, we'll accept the terms, and we'll, it's going to install it in the program files directory, which is the correct location, and then we'll just click the install button here, and we'll wait for the software to fully install. Okay, another prompt has popped up to install some additional software. I'm going to go ahead and install this as well. And then we can just simply click the finish button. Resolve is installed successfully. We can click OK. And we've got the project server here. We've got the main Resolve application here that we can launch. So let's take a quick look. So a little prompt has popped up here. Would you like to upgrade the database, the local database? You cannot undo this action. It's recommended that you back up your existing database before proceeding. So I'm not too sure what that's about. I think that's to do with old installation of uh, DaVinci Resolve version 15. So I think you should really read up about this. If, you got, if you're using version 15, you should probably read up about this. But I'm just going to click upgrade. So I don't really have anything on there that I need to back up. And then we can go ahead and start creating projects. Here you can actually see some of the old projects that I created before. I don't know if they're going to be still active but let's click on this amazing planet earth in theory it probably won't work but we'll just double click and check it so it's going to show all the media offline uh, for now but um we still got the media pool we still got the editing and the cutting in here so it's pretty much it's quite similar to um the previous version of davinci resolve i can see some differences in here as well so i'll be doing some other tutorials separate ones um, looking at DaVinci Resolve version 16, this beta version. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to get the software installed. I've done a tutorial on how to fix this media offline as well, so I'll probably show you that in version 16 as well. But for now, at least we've got the software installed, and then we can now go and experiment and um, play around with the software and see what it's like. So I'll make some new tutorials soon on this particular software. That's the end of this tutorial, so let's close this. I don't really want to save anything here. 
Um, I hope you find that tutorial useful. Download version 16 and start experimenting with it. And check out my YouTube channel where I'll be making some tutorials soon on DaVinci Resolve 16. That's the end of this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.